extend our solidarity to London and Glasgow. We are here today to stand up for our class, for our members struggling to survive on low pay. But when we talk about low pay, we have to ask why. Why are our members on low pay and struggling? And it is because of the crisis, and we are expected to shoulder the pain for that crisis. And let's not forget that we're in the seventh year of falling wages, and Northern Ireland has nearly one quarter of its workers earning below a decent wage. Another thing that we should not forget is that since 2010, Northern Ireland has lost nearly four billion from our block grant due to cuts. So when we talk about low pay, we need to link it with cuts because they are all part of the austerity that we're being asked to shoulder. We are expected to take the pain for the capitalist crisis and we should not. We should not accept that. Many of, many of the workers that we know who are members here in low pay are entitled to tax credits. And they're entitled to tax credits because their employers aren't paying them enough pay. So I want to link that to the welfare cuts because the cuts in welfare to reduce that spend are to move people from benefit into work when really the reason why people are on benefit and claiming tax credits is because employers aren't paying enough and we can't forget that. And that's employers across the civil service, the public service and the private sector. We're aware that there are seven, seven and a half thousand workers in the Belfast Trust on CROR contracts. And there are essential services across Northern Ireland that are being delivered by temporary and agency staff. So that gives you an idea of where our services are at the moment. And you can be certain that none of those workers are on a living wage. We'll be asked, one of the questions we'll be asked when we talk about low pay and cuts is where is the money? Where will we get the money from? And what we would say is, let's ask the political class where the money is, because it's them who are spending and subsidising big business and corporations to the tunes of billions every year. So that's where the money is. Yeah. 